I'm Lisa Marie Smith. I'm one of the librarians from the Youth and School Services Department at the Vernon Area Public Library. I'm here this month to tell you about some of our favorite books for second grade. The first one is perfect if you are an animal fan. The story is a fun beginning chapter book by husband and wife team Gary D. Schmidt and Elizabeth Stickney called One Smart Sheep. Our story is about Wilson. Now there are several things that you should know about Wilson. First, he is Abigail Atwood's friendliest sheep. Second, the next is he's actually her wooliest sheep. And third, well, he's her smartest sheep too. Now, Abigail knows all there is to know about sheep. And she knew there was something very special about Wilson. Some sheep did as they were told. Others don't listen worth a darn. But Wilson was different from the get-go. She knew at the moment that she laid eyes on him and started taking care of him when he was just a tiny little lamb. He was as smart as her border collie, Tippy, and curious too, always trying to figure things out. But when Wilson gets out of his pen and wanders into the back of an empty delivery truck, he finds himself getting a free ride to someplace he'd never seen before, the middle of town. Well, his curiosity has sure gotten him in trouble this time. Will Abigail ever see her sheep again? Or is Wilson just smart enough to find his own way back home? The next book is an interesting biography about a very important person in the civil rights movement. It's called Claudette Colvin by Lisa Klein Ransom. And it's part of the She Persisted biography series. You might have heard of a famous lady named Rosa Parks before. She is a civil rights pioneer who refused to give her seat up on a bus to someone else. But have you ever heard of a girl, a 15-year-old girl named Claudette Colvin? Well, she made the very same choice months before Mrs. Parks did, proving that you don't need to wait to grow up before you stand up for your rights. This is Claudette's story in beginning chapter book form. You can learn about what it was like for her to grow up in Montgomery, Alabama, and find out what it was like to live and go to school in a time when not all people were treated equally. I think you'll be inspired by her story and discover that everyone, no matter how young or how old, can stand up for justice. Those are just a couple of our favorite chapter books for second graders at the Vernon Area Public Library. For more information about these books, what formats they're available in, and just how you can put them on hold with your Vernon Area Public Library card, you can contact us by phone, email, or even message us. If you have a library card from another area library, you can contact them to see if they have them available there as well. We have lots of great book recommendations available for second grade and all others at the link that you see on your screen. You can also go there and find a book match form. That's a way that you can request a specialized personal list made just for you by one of our librarians. See you at the library soon.